Yo, yo, yo. It's JB the Billy. How you feeling? Yeah, that felt great to say. Yeah. Where have I been? JB, where have you been, bro? We was getting videos every single day at the same time every day. Banger videos on the clock at 4 p.m. To We haven't got a video in over a week, JB. What's going on? Where you been at? What's going on, dog? So, I have took it upon myself. <clears throat> the 31st of April, I decided that we are going to stream every single day of the month of May. We are live every single day of the month of May. So that's where we've been. That's where we have been. Sometimes two times in a day, okay? We have been live on Twitch every single day this month. Every single day. And y'all know I'm a very spontaneous thinker, a, a spontaneous actor, right? Not an actor, but an action taker, right? Risk taker. Very spontaneous in that, I'm not a planner. And I literally planned the night of, or actually I think it was the day. So May 1st, I decided, you know what? We live every single day this month, okay? But let me break some things down to y'all. So first and foremost, that's been going great. Shout out to everybody who's been uh, tuned into the streams on Twitch, you know, breaking milestones, having a great time, talking about that deep real shit. You know what I mean? Y'all know how we get down. That's That's been great. Number two, I got my passport. Okay, that's that's the plus. I've been getting. I got oh, I got that situated. Got my passport situated. It shall be in in T minus two weeks. So that's exciting. Y'all know where I'm going first. Toronto, Toronto, Canada. That's where I'm going first. Okay, passport bros. Shout out to you know what I mean. Passport bros. We in there. That's exciting. That was very exciting. Okay, I three. I. Got a financial advisor. JB. Got a financial advisor. Yep, you heard it right. We got a financial advisor. I got more business with just be simple as an LLC. Situated. So that's extremely exciting. That's exactly what I need. And that's exactly what I have been manifesting for this business, this enterprise, just be simple and JB and the family. That's, that's exactly what we need. So shout out my guy, Fred. If you watching this, bro, shout out to you. I gave him, you know, my, my YouTube channels and it's been going great. On a plug channel, this is number four. On a plug channel, we are approaching 23,000 subscribers. 23,000 subscribers. Round of applause in the comments. Round of applause, round of applause, round of applause. 23 rack aids, 23 of them. So y'all be on the lookout for the JB and the fam 23, cause that's the number, okay? JB and the fam 23,000 video special. We'll be breaking down so many things in that video and it'll be posted on the plug channel, link in the description, okay? That's extremely exciting. We've been growing a lot. We have 1400 videos on that channel and almost 600 on this channel. What? 2024 if you forgot let me be the one to shake you up and tell you again don't count the days make the days count you hear me don't count the days make the days count yeah yeah and also i've been going with the uh the homeless person look you know the homeless man look and i've been liking it <laughs> I've been liking it, you know, the, the, the beat is coming in, you know, the beat is just coming in, y'all see it, and, um, yeah, I, I, it's time though, I, I, I am excited to get, you know, my hair rebraided, I'm, I am excited to get my hair done now, a lot of, a lot of extra growth, a lot of new growth, you know, I've been reading a lot, I've been studying a lot of deep concepts, y'all, and, and those y'all on Patreon too, Patreon, Patreon members, hey, I see y'all, okay? I see y'all. We haven't posted a video on Patreon, even a music reaction. We haven't posted anything on Patreon in like almost two weeks. I know y'all, I know, I know. It's the calm before the storm. <laughs> it's the calm before the storm. I've been studying a lot of deep concepts, a lot of deep philosophical 
entities. I'm gonna say that, okay? Psychological, yeah. It's 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 been it's been going great. It's been going real great. And um, you know, one thing about myself, I can I can purposefully put myself in a rabbit hole. It's almost like fear factor, right? Or you know what? Better better yet, a Navy SEAL. Being a Navy SEAL, you know, I purposefully tie the rope behind my back put duct tape over my mouth and I tie rope around my feet and I jump into the water. Boom! And I don't know how I'm going to get out. I know I'm going to get out though. Utmost belief, utmost confidence. Confide in myself to the utmost. Bet on myself to the utmost. I don't gamble, I don't smoke, I don't drink, but I will gamble on myself. I will bet on myself. Okay? I don't know how I'm going to get out that water, but I'm going to get out. I'm going to get out, you know? And um, with the with these deep concepts, you know the the rulers of the world. I'm gonna just give y'all give y'all some inside scoop, you know, inside game. I've been studying a lot about fraternities, sororities, Freemasons, and secret societies. A lot of sorcery, a lot of black magic, and a lot of witchcraft. Now, nothing in this nothing in this realm is good or bad. But thinking it from the person that is telling you what to believe and how to believe in it makes it so. And these people that have been these entities, these corporations that have been telling us and informing, informant, Tin Hut, they've been telling us all these decades and, and, and centuries what to believe in, how to believe it, and the Illuminati, and if it's bad, if it's, a, listen, that's surface level. Do you, and do y'all really think if we, as a society, all knew about the Illuminati, then it would be a secret society, idiots? And you look up the word illuminate, it means to light up. So where did the word enlightenment come from? The enlightened people come from. Hello. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. And I'm glad I'm putting myself through this type of treatment because it's not for the weak. It is not for the weak whatsoever, okay? It is not for the weak at all. And we are making so many changes when it comes to content and videos and, and time, right? You know, I've seen Alex Hermosi say if you are broke if you don't have any money then you must trade your time for money because you can't be busy and broke <laughs> yeah you can't be busy and broke <laughs> so to say the least it's been a great journey it's been a great journey i've been loving streaming every day i'm not tired of it y'all know i love streaming okay and the book of the moment that I've been reading right now is the seven habits of highly effective people. Okay, this is a great read. I'm just about you know halfway in there. I started this last week, and um, man, talk about the principles, the principalities that that people take up and they don't even know. Like for instance, right. My mom had a 50th birthday party. Shout out Mama Banks, she had a 50th birthday party this Sunday and had a blast. She had a blast, amazing, amazing people, amazing energy, awesome, right? Very vibrant. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm listening and I'm talking to these people and most of them, you know, over the age of 40 and, you know, some mid thirties and 50 and 60 and up, right? I know how to turn my brain off when it comes to how much I consume and how much I learn and study. I know how to turn my brain off, especially around, you know, those types of people, if you know what I mean. And uh, their verbiage, their vernacular, they can't help but to expose the fact that they are a blank centered person 
Now, you could be centered by many different things, right? In the book, it explains your, your circle of concern. And I'm going to say, I've been saying your circle of intention or in a book, it says your circle of influence, right? So if you think more about what is allegedly your concerns, your concern bubble expands and now your influence bubble shrinks. But if you consume and double down more on your influence, your intention, then that expands, what well, does this, right? That expands because all sort of, it all starts off the same circle, the same size. That expands and your concerns depreciate. So I'm listening to these people and you know, these people are church-centered, self-centered, money-centered, career-centered, family-centered, friend-centered, enemy-centered, social-centered. You know, they take up all these different forms, right? And so it's a spectrum. You know, how much, how much you will relinquish to and for somebody. So for instance, you are a work-centered person. So you will sacrifice, let's say you have kids, you will sacrifice soccer games, most of them. You will sacrifice basketball games, most of them, in order to build up somebody else's dream in this corporation at your job because you don't necessarily love your work. You don't necessarily love your career in this aspect, but you are a kiss ass to your boss. You don't want people at the workplace talking shit about you saying that you're not a hard worker and you don't put overtime and they do, you know, late night hours, but they're single. You, you have a family. <laughs> you have a fucking family, right? And so I heard a lot of their centeredness while speaking and it was very interesting you know but like i said we take different forms throughout life it's not just you know like inertia it's not just a a a single matter of being until we put force behind it right that that matter that principle of using external force to make something move we're not talking about that we're talking about it being still it not changing right it's not, it's, that's not the case. We are changing. So I also want to say this, man, shout out to my guy, Matt, that I met at the party from New York. Shout out to you, dog. He is a director in a lot of documentaries, independent films. He told me, man, there is one continent, not country, there's one continent that I haven't been to yet. And he's probably, you know, late thirties, right? I didn't, I didn't ask his age, but he, he told me that if I wouldn't have told him my age, he would have said like late twenties because of how mature and the, the type of con, the type of content we were talking about with the conversation. It was beautiful, man. Shout out to my guy, Matt. Real, real intellect, real, real dope spirit, real, real stoic dude, you know? And I, I respect that. I respect that a lot. So if, if you're watching this, man, shout out to you, fam. But, you know, that, yeah, that's been my life over this past month, YouTube. That's been my life, and I'm loving every second of it. Um, I'm spending my time doing exactly what I love. Doing exactly what I love. That's what I'm spending my time with every single day. Reading, I'm studying, I'm writing, I'm meditating. I'm going outside. I'm playing basketball. <laughs> I'm hanging out with my little brother, family, you know. Streaming with y'all. Like, I... I'm going to leave y'all with this. <clears throat> implementation is one of the lowest forms of success. You can do it, of course, but implementation meaning copying somebody's whole MO and making that yours. That's the lowest form of success. That's, that's the lowest ladder. Now, the highest form is imagination. You imagining yourself and desiring, being, encompassing the life that you want. Which also goes hand in hand with visualization. 
You have an imagination for the ideas that you possess. You're imagining those things as your life, as your everyday. What you drive, where you drive, what you eat, what do you do around 11 a.m., 11 p.m., what is your you know nights looking like, your afternoons, how are you settling down? What is that looking like? Your imagination, how you travel, when you travel, how much you, how frequently you travel, that's the highest form of success. And oftentimes we get indoctrinated and programmed into thinking that if we work more, we'll get paid for more. If we work more, we will get more. No, that is incorrect. In this hierarchy, that's incorrect. The more you put out, it does not equate to the more you get. It does not equate to that. What will equate is the quality of work. The quality of work you put out and get this, the quality of work you put out associated with the degree of content. So I can put out, you can put out one video a week, <laughs> two videos every five days. But the quality of those videos, the quality of those videos are so, oh, remarkable. Because I'm about to pick up the book, The Four Hour Work Week. I'm about to pick up the four hour work week and wow, you've been lied to. Time to change, time to change the script. But I love y'all, man. I ain't gonna sit up here and talk all day. I love y'all. Thank y'all for the support as always. Continue to elevate your life. Think, see, and feel. Feel, see, and think. All of these go hand in hand. You attract your life, you manifest your life, and nothing in this world happens by accident. They're only incidents. Nothing in this world is a coincidence. Maybe an incident, but never a coincidence. I love y'all, take care of yourself. Just be simple, and it's JB.